Okay, so we're going to bust it open and take a look at it right now, and I'll show you where the signals flow and how to increase the strength of your 12 volt current. Because as of right now, this 12 volt wire coming out of here is just very thin. I'll show it to you. Anyway, thanks. Okay, here we are. We got the 380 taken apart. There's how it looks on the inside. Okay, I've got the lid over here. And I completed the completed the uh, isolation of the GPS. Put two layers of copper tape under that duct tape. Put two layers of co copper tape on that wires coming out. And then I covered it all with duct tape to isolate it from the rest of the board in case something hits. Okay. So that's done. They call that the GPS mod. Okay. Now I'm working on the board. Uh, the 12 volts coming out of the board goes to this wire right here. And this wire goes to this run right here. And this run right here goes to this red cable, which is the power in from the battery. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bypass this little black wire, which is a 12 volts DC, and the one next to it is the ground. And they go down to the plug on the bottom of the quad. So we're going to send power and ground to that plug on the side of the plug with a larger wire so it can be capable of supplying power to more than one product. So the gimbals and the transmitter and OSD, whatever you might have that plugs into the 12 volts, can get the 12 volts without it being much of a problem. So I'll get back in in a minute to you. I'll show you. I got a picture of one of these. This. This is what it looks like. Okay. That's the board I'm going to be taking out. Alright. So, I'll get back with you in just a minute. Okay. We're just about, we got the four screws out of the card. Now the card raises and lowers. As you can see, you get a, bit, a little bit better view of this. You can see right here is the card that we're after. It's just a little card right here, which has the plugs under the bottom of the copter. Okay, and we are going, that's the plus and the minus. That's the signal wire, that's the minus, that's the plus. There's a 12 positive, there's a 12 negative. And then this connector back here is for connecting the uh, uh, quad up to your computer. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to plop this card out right here real quick. And the way I get it out, just go in here and pop it like that. Now once I get it popped out, all i got to do is clear the bottom board. Okay, hard to do and take videos at the same time. Okay, so now I've got it loose and got it out. So I'm going to pull it out. Okay. Now there is the plug connections that are fitting in the bottom of the quad. Okay, we are going to solder two cables from the red and the black right here, the battery connections, and we're going to run them straight over to these solder points right there on the back side. And uh, I'll show you when I'm done. Then I'm going to put it back in, but that will give us a little bit more amperage and we can put more devices on it. Okay. Okay, now I've got to clean some runs up. I've got some problems with some runs. Uh, this black wire right here is not a very good solder joint. I can't really get close enough, I don't think, for you to see. But that's not a very good one. It looks like a cold. And we had a yellow one over here doesn't look very good. We're going to put a little heat on it and flow some solder into it. And let's see, this yellow one here doesn't look that great. And we might even do something with that yellow one and repuddle this one. 
Okay, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to work on a few of these. I looked at the main board. Main board looks pretty good. I really can't see any runs or uh, any connection points. It looks bad. So anyway, that's where we're at. So I'm going to start fixing some of these solder joints and then I'm going to connect the wire from this to the board. I'll share that in a minute. Okay, I've uh, soldered the two wires on the board. The positive and the negative which you're going to end up going up top to connect to the battery cables. Okay, and they're a much thicker wire. These are a size 20. Okay, and you can see there's clearance between the red and the black. And I put them on the pin on the back of the plug. And I'm going to put a little, uh, glue a little uh, glue on it. Put a little, uh, melt a little plastic glue on there so that they can't touch each other. But that's where I'm at right now. Just wanted you to see it. see the separation in them and you can see which plug they are okay up and back you can see now that I put hot glue on the back of this connection to stop the black and the red wires from touching each other and to hold them still so they wouldn't become an issue. Alright, and that's going to provide us the voltage to that connection point. With much thicker wire, and we'll be able to get some more current and run more objects on it. Okay, now I'm going to cut this off and connect it to the red and black cables. Another thing I wanted to show you right here. Okay. Now, this is the positive 12, this is the negative 12, and it's also the negative 5. This is the positive 5, and this is the signal wire. Now I want you to notice on this board, this is the positive 5. The run on it's not so bad, but look how thin that signal wire is right there. That signal wire is so thin, I would imagine that if you have any amperage on that from something not quite working right, it's going to burn that run in half. So anybody who has a problem with 5 volts, uh, excuse me, with the signal not coming out of the car and you got a problem, you better go to this run and see if it's broken. Or lift the card up a little bit and look where it's connected on the other side and see what's there. But that's your signal right there for the uh, uh, for the gimbal. Okay, that's your five volts for the gimbal. That's your ground for the gimbal and the five volts positive. It's the five volt negative, and that is your twelve volts. And you can see the run goes right over here to the positive. So it's a very short distance. So if you ever lose twelve volts, it's probably either this wire right here. It's burned, or else the run on this card feeding from that wire to over here at 12 volts. And that's what happened to me last time when I had a 12 volt problem. I had a problem with the run on this card right here. So I bought an extra card and I've got it waiting in case I have any more issues. But, in any case, so this is where we're at right now. Oh, here's the card right here. I have an extra card that I'm going to be have it available in case I need it. But you can see nothing's on it but a little few runs. Okay. Okay, we're back at the chopper and uh, I've connected those 12 volt wires coming out of that plug right down here. I glued them to stop them from making connections with each other. Ran them up and up to the top and red is red going to 12 volts and the black one is right beside it going around the corner over to here and it's connected over there to the negative from the battery so now straight from the battery I've got positive and negative size 20 wire and that should give me plenty of amperage for anything I want to plug into the bottom <clears throat> and I can use multiple wires coming out of it, splitters, whatever but that will supply my amperage that I need without it being a problem and it can't burn anything up on the card because it's going straight to the battery. 
So that's where we're at. Well, I hope this instructional video will help you guys out some. Uh, I know I had problems with my 12 volts, and I know people have had problems with their with their elevation signal wire going out, or elevation signal going down. So good luck with your project. I hope everything goes well for you. And have good flights. Thanks. Bye.